Hello, everyone, and welcome to Transformers for Your Listening Ple- Pleasure, TFYLP. Uh, this is a pre recorded episode, so I don't know the episode number right now. So just refer to your, yes, <laughs> just refer to the, uh, uh, to the YouTube page or the, uh, uh, the audio download page where you get, I uh, got this episode and you'll see the episode number. So it's a secret lost episode. No, no, this is just one in the can for, yeah. cause you know, the, the summer is coming up and, uh, and where did these come from? Mm. This is unusual. Uh, okay. Hide that. Yeah. yeah, this is episode number duck. Yeah. Number duck. Anyway, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm testing out a new mixer too uh, on this episode, so hopefully the audio sounds pretty good. Um, if you guys are having a problem with the audio, I'm I'm still working on it. <laughs> um, but. As it were, you know, uh, there's some days over the summer coming up, you know, since I'm the only one right now currently that's able to broadcast, uh, I'm uh, putting a few episodes in the can, and this is one of the first ones uh, I'm pre-recording so that, you know, there, uh, on those inevitable weekends where I'm not available to do the show, uh, there will be an episode uh, to be able to put up, and this is one of those episodes, and hopefully we'll put together something kind of interesting for you guys to watch and listen to tonight and and uh, hope you enjoy it um the topic we oh go ahead i was saying someday we'll be like cnn and we'll be broadcasting 24 hours a day with all of your podcasting needs but i don't see that happening (laughs) no well uh, who knows maybe the channel will get uh, get so big i mean there's already 100 over uh, almost 200 videos on there so far so if I remember Chad, before he passed away, uh, he said that um, he started at the very first video episode that was on YouTube, and he went through every single episode watching, well, he he wouldn't watch them as he drove, but he, he, he listened to them in his semi as he was working at night, you know, whenever he wasn't able to talk, and uh, he said that it took him roughly six months to go through all of them. So, uh, you know, and he said there was some that, you know, that he, he didn't, didn't interest him, the, the subject didn't interest him. And that's fine. You know, I mean, I understand that not every single episode that we do is everybody's cup of tea. You know, uh, that's just the way things are. You know, this, this fandom is very fickle. We know that, um, you know, you can, talk about different things. Yes. And you, you can, you, you can please some of the people some of the time, but not all the people all the time. And we know that, but we try our best. And we'll get to you eventually. Yes, we. Except we'll for talk you. about something you yeah. like. Except, except you. for you. Ex- yeah. Except for that. Except for you. Yeah. That that one yeah. you that's listening, and you're just you're just sitting there like all grumpy cat, and you're. You, yeah. you know who you are. You don't get nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I guess I should get some intros out of the way here. You know, uh, you know, I intro introed myself, and then I started explaining things. Uh, the uh, the vo- the one voice that you heard there uh, is the ever present Headmaster Don, Bye. and Christian Russell. Hello. Um, I tried to get a couple more people uh, in here too, but uh, they uh, they were busy, and of course I I'm, I'm not going to down on them too much because this was kind of fly. You know, I'm like I got everything working. I'm like, you know what? It'd be really cool. I don't have to be anywhere tomorrow. Let's see if anybody else don't. You know, see if we can it's get sun- one in. The- yeah. It's Sunday night, a quarter to, t- to 10. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of people available. Well, you'd be surprised. Yeah. There, there are a lot of people that just, you know, this is a time where they're just flaked out on the couch watching TV, you know. And if you if if you want to talk about toys, we're, we can talk about toys, you know. Okay. I, 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 for one, don't really have a life, so, you know. <laughs> You know, it's like, you know, if I, if I'm home and I'm available, I'll 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 do a pre-record. Oh, that's me. You know, I I I'll, I'll, like someone calls up. I don't even know. You gonna do a podcast? Sure. Just tell me when. You know, we're talking <laughs> yeah. about potatoes. I can talk about potatoes. No problem. <laughs> you know, just... Well, you know, as much as I love podcasting and everything, I, you know, there was a short-lived podcast that uh, Rick, myself, and uh, two others did. Uh, it was a wrestling podcast. And I, I really wanted to continue that, but, um, 
uh, the couple that we had, uh, uh, she actually uh, became with child, and they uh, she now has a baby. Uh, so you know, they their life got a whole lot more complicated, and we just wasn't a, we got two episodes done, and that's as far as it went. Yeah. And it. Well, I mean, there's a. I'm not a big wrestling fan. I, I never really watched it except when Sergeant Slaughter was wrestling. Kids, ask your dad who Sergeant Slaughter was. Hmm. But, uh, you know, that and I'll be honest, sometimes I would watch wrestling because Elvira came on after wrestling. And big I titties. Two... I wasn't going <laughs> to say that because the rest of it could be inferred by just saying Elvira. But, yeah, it's a, I would much prefer watching classic American Gladiators, but that's just me. Well, you know, I understand wrestling isn't everybody's cup of tea. Again, like what we were talking about a few moments ago with the Transformers uh, in, in this podcast. Uh, but, you know, there is a very, very large contingent of people out there that, that love it. You know, a lot of people actually get what my shirt means. Um, and, I, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan, have been ever since I was a kid. Uh, and you know, my brother was putting me in wrestling holds and stuff on the ground and I, I was too little to get out of them. And, you know, it just, it, you know, that very first time I ever saw the ultimate warrior on, you know, those, it's all those, <laughs> you know, so seeing all those colors and everything, it, it, even at the, even then I didn't care if it was real or not, you know, and, and as I grew older and I realized, Hey, this, there's no way this is legit. I still love it. You know, there's still stories, you know, many stories that's told in each match. Some matches are better than others. Uh, you know, but, you know, I could go on and on about wrestling. But, uh, you know, we the point being, we had uh, a separate uh, podcast going for wrestling or, or started. Um, and it just fell to the wayside after two episodes. I'd really like to get it started again, but... Truth be told, TFYLP takes up a, a great deal of my time during the week. I don't think a lot of people realize how much time I devote to it. Um, you know, and and it, it it gets intrusive on my life sometimes. And I and I'm not saying that because I lament it. I, I, it's 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 a labor of love. I've said it many times on here, but uh, you know, there's times where I'd I'd like to go out with family and go to the movies, go to dinner. On a Saturday night, you know, like like everybody else, but you know, I have a podcast to do, so you know, and here we are doing a pre-record, and this will give me that flexibility from time to time. I mean, you know, until the day we can put like a, a pizza in an IV drip or something, you know, Duran's going to be stuck here, you know, having to do the fat. But you know, you, you can do you can do the you can you know skip dinner and get a pizza and an IV, and then you can run out and do what you want to. So well, exactly, you know, and. Uh, Right now, I'm using OBS, uh, which is a free software, and uh, it's it's not as intensive as the Wirecast that I, I normally use to broadcast with. Uh, and the new computer setup, and maybe by the time this episode actually airs, I'll actually be using that new computer setup. Um, but uh, uh, Wirecast is very very uh, CPU intensive, and for uh, it's it's got a lot more robust settings and everything i can do all kinds of transitions there's just more options i have with wirecast than obs but if somebody has a computer that's within the last couple years old you know has more than four gigs of ram they can they can run this program and i can teach them how to how to use it and set it up and and they can broadcast too uh you know, and I, I, that's my that's my goal. Once everything is set in place, I can have a secondary person that is capable of doing uh, one technically knowing how to do the broadcast and two uh, hosting the uh, you know comfortable enough to host the podcast. You know, uh, Brett did it for a little while, and I you know I, I appreciate that, but you know he just it it was it's difficult on him because his computer was was having problems with it, you know, but I think that was more of a hardware issue than anything. Um but you know, let's let's talk about Transformers. I know we've talked a little bit about geek stuff and and everything and you know, it transcends, but you know, we're all here about Transformers. Um tonight we're going to talk about uh third-party stuff. It's uh, a third-party round table. 
Um, we're going to talk about some things that may or may not be relevant, but we find them interesting. Uh, that's in the Transformers realm. And uh, one of the things I think we can kick it off with, uh, and it's a subject that has been kicking around here lately, especially since we have not had a whole lot of official masterpiece news lately. Uh, a lot of people saying that official G1 masterpiece is dead. I, I, I think it's a bunch of hooey, honestly, <laughs> uh, but to use a Southern term, but yeah, I think it's just one of those times whenever right now, you know, we got Dinobot coming on, uh, on the way. Uh, the target master hot rod just got released within the, like the last month, month and a half. Uh, and then we have the uh, black repaint of Cheetor mm -hmm. slated to be coming out. Yeah. Also, and the I, animated I Prowl. And yeah, and I'll be honest. On that note, I don't mind the masterpieces slowing down because we were getting some pretty wonky QC issues, and we've brought this up in the past. Whether is there a direct correlation? I don't know, but it just seems like and since they up the masterpiece release schedule about what a year year and a half ago maybe two years yeah we've been getting some funky uh, qc issues so if slowing down means that we're getting a slightly better product especially with them running like dinobots running what 350 i thought it was 250 yeah 250 250, 250, 250 on the, you know 250 uh you know so yeah, I don't mind them slowing down, uh, but I hope I hope when they do come back, we'll finally see. Because my theory has always been, they're using these repaints as time to get the engineering done on a, either a new mold, like say Wheeljack or Mirage or whatever, or some some that some that don't have a lot of repaint potential, like the Dotson Brothers, and they need more time to get it finalized, or they're just basically doing a repaint they know will sell to get more money to fund that yeah. oddball mold where they, you won't get as many sales. That's my that's always been my theory. Well, let's let's be honest too, outside of the mini bots, uh there's only a handful, a small handful of eighty eighty four and eighty five characters. You know, we got Hound, Trailbreaker, Hoist, Mirage, Jazz, um, of the Autobots. Of the of the large Autobots, I can't, and skids and skids, uh, you know that's that's the only large Blaster. Autobots. Well, yeah, I guess that's he was. Good. I guess he was an eighty four and eighty five, wasn't it? Yeah, but if I mean if you do just just the eighty four Autobots, you know Hound and uh, Mirage and Jazz and Jazz, yeah, because uh, and Trailbreaker. Tra well, you know Trailbreaker Hoist wasn't till season two. And Skids right. wasn't until season two. So, right. you know, if they just want to complete just the 84 line, you know, there's there's very few. Um, that's, what I, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. That's my goal. 85, maybe later, but I'm really focused on 84. Yeah. So to not see anything on the schedule is very concerning to me. I think what they're doing is trying not to announce stuff so far in advance and then delay, delay, delay like Dinobot has been. Which, in a way, is good, but it has the appearance of making it look dead. Well, yeah. Well, the thing is, though, I, I, and, and I, I, I get why people are feeling this way about the Masterpiece line, because we've seen it before uh, with the Encore. You know, Encore was going hard and heavy for, for several years, and then they started slowing down, and then it would go months before we would find anything out. And then it's like, oh, here, they throw us a bone. And then, you know, like seven months later, maybe another bone, you know, and that, and then it just eventually nothing, you know, what was the last well, encore we got, you know? Well, God, Godfire Convoy's encore, but what was the one before that? Four Max? Yeah, Four Max, I'm yeah, wanting to say. And that's been, what, four or five years ago? Five, five years, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's, I don't think the encore line is dead, obviously, with the, the Godfire Convoy, but they have significantly slowed down the releases. Well, it might as well have been dead. Five years without a release? Oof. But it's, you know, as evidenced, you know, if Godfire Convoy has been released, it is under the Encore banner. Yep. It's not G1, but... Nope. Well, it's... it's. Well, then it, there was it, the it G2 is, Magnus. Well, that was well, Encore is, as well, is, I believe. 
it's kind of G one to Japan because they they were able to make it all one. I think Kiss Players is the one that made everything in one timeline. For the well, most yeah, but it's part, not a, it's not a G one mold. I think is what Dry right. is saying. Yeah. Right. Okay. But the thing is, is uh, you know, even if Masterpiece is dead, which I don't think it is. Again, I'll, I'll reiterate that. I think a lot of people that that are saying that it's dead is the uh, you know the chicken little thing. The sky is falling. But uh, I don't think it's dead. But it makes me really consider looking to third party even more to fill in the hole. And and Kristen, you actually mentioned this yesterday uh, whenever mm-hmm. we were doing our live episode. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In the past couple months, I have gotten Huff. Uh, Terragus, which is Trailbreaker. I don't know how you say that. Pick a pick a way to say that. I got Gundog, and I got Sphinx, all all within the past uh, month to six weeks. Yeah. And this. I'm surprised you found a. Oh, gun and too. Grump, Grump too. Mm. I'm just I'm trying to finish eighty four. I have realized that if I can make third party versions work, then I'm gonna have a lot more time with those characters in my collection. That display is gonna be done. Uh, yeah, down downbeat really started that trend for me. Mm. And that's I mean, that uh, downbeat is a slippery slope. I love that toy; it's a beautiful yeah. toy. Downbeat is great. Gun dog, I think, uh, is gun dog was downbeat before downbeat came out. I I can't see them doing a better hound than gun dog. Just well, to I was be gonna honest. open gun dog tonight, but then someone wanted me to do a podcast. Well, why don't you do a live un un opening, un- un- unboxing? Exactly. Maybe. Maybe because I've not seen a gun dog available anywhere for months except overinflated prices on eBay. I, mean, it's I a got him with an eBay coupon sale. It was good. Good, good. But uh, over Christmas time, I was trying to figure out if I needed to continue collecting masterpiece if I thought that Takar really wasn't going to finish him up. And so I had I've had my masterpiece on display in a separate area from my the rest of my collection, and I switched them out for the classics versions. And I didn't like them the same way that I liked having my masterpieces. So I decided if I really was going to keep it, then I really wanted to finish that display as quickly as possible. And that's what I'm doing. Now I only need a cliff jumper, a brawn, and a wind charger. But unfortunately, I don't like any of the brawn or wind charger offerings we have right now. I, I like the X Transbots one, the boost. Uh, yeah. It was nice in both modes. But it was a pain in the ass to transform. And I'm not about that. At, at my heart of my collection, I still collect toys. They may be high-end toys, mm-hmm. but I do collect toys, so I don't need a chore when I'm trying to do Well, toys. I mean, I'm not saying it was so much difficult. Is There was just some points, especially like with the forearms and everything on Boost, whenever I had mine, I was afraid to transform it simply because of some of the tolerances, you know, it just was really, really tight. And I'm like, it, 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 it was, hurt. it's the same thing, you know, with, with fans project diesel back, you know, years ago when it came out, oh, that oh, thing was a freaking nightmare to me. That, that it's made awful. me regret. I was loving the four small cars. Mm-hmm. I really liked the way they were yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Getting diesel. I sold the whole set within days. a month. I sold the yep. whole set within a month. If, I, I think my last I, I six. wish I had, but I went to so much effort trying to do that. It took me four hours and two videos from PL and MGO to get Diesel transformed into torso yep. mode. And yep. I, I swear I haven't touched the figure since. Well, he's been in this war for three years and he's never getting taken apart. I know several yep. people that, that, you know, they didn't really have problems. Uh, transforming it and to the to you people more power to you i didn't uh, it's not so much that i had problems transforming it i didn't enjoy transforming it if there is no enjoy diesel there is no it was i'll 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 put it bluntly it was an over-engineered piece of shit well that's that's my one thing with fans project is that they over they really over engineered some of their pieces and diesel is a prime example of that no pun intended because there was no enjoyment left in that figure it was just well and it's just the 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 hip part was 
it was so convoluted. The hip part was essentially a, a slider joint that was on two really thin pieces of plastic that was literally no thicker than a toothpick. And that's what held the entire torso together uh, yeah. at, during transformation. And I'm like, it wouldn't take too much to go oops and snap the damn thing in half. And I'm yeah. like, that that much, if you have to be that delicate with a toy just to convert it, yeah. there's no joy in it for me. Plus, if I remember correctly, there was like multiple torso twists mm -hmm. to use, to yep. use an, an old Battletech reference that when you would just twist your torso in one direction or the other and your feet were still pointing one way, you would twist it and then twist it back again. There was like a third pivot. It was just, God, it was, just, I'm sorry. I transformed it. I transformed it about three times, and the third time was to put it back in the box. Uh, you know, I transformed it once. You know, uh, to you know, and I'm uh, by transforming, I mean to and from. And I transformed it once. I'm like that was not enjoyable. I waited a couple days, and I transformed it again to see. I didn't. It didn't take me as long because you know I, I had an idea of what was going on, but I still didn't enjoy it. And then the last, uh, and then uh, after that is whenever I decided, okay, I'm going to put this set up for sale. I don't like it. Yeah. This is not my if, Minasaur. If I, if Minasaur was higher on my list of must like combine of must have, the best version combiner, I think I would have sold it. But Minasaur is like, it looks pretty good as Minasaur. It, I've got it. It's done. And well, combine uh, like compared to some of the uh, the modern uh, the newer third-party combiners he's actually kind of small now yeah so he is. it's but again he's, he's it, always it, been small yeah. yeah but the stunicons have just never been that important to me to have the best representation of them that's like freddy king you know that's why i never bought i did want the negro rex in the black and purple but that's just because that's an incredible looking toy mm -hmm. but as far as getting a third-party freddy king i'm like he's just not that important I mean, well, speaking of Rex, uh, my whole diesel issue was made worse because it shipped in a pile of loot with the first couple releases for Feral Rex. And to compare them together that closely was just... Oh, yeah. That it was had, horrible for diesel. That had been, well, uh, John DeLuna, has, he, was, he, was, he was the first one of us to get Feral Rex on RFC. And he said that, that was just, a, just an incredible, remarkable improvement over anything even contemporary. Oh, yeah. yeah. Feral Rex is incredible. Even now, even I've had it for five years, four years. It's still amazing. I love that toy. <laughs> I, mean, I have backpack. I have a Nero Rex sitting in my pile at Capture Prey, and I'm like, I want it so bad, but I don't have five hundred dollars. Yeah, I, it's it's, but it's so, and that's something else. Is that one thing about third party is that it's amazing what the right paint own a figure can change it um you know i've seen several figures i'm trying to i i, I had one in mind and i lost it unfortunately it was oh it, oh it was oh it was the uh it was the gun dog as a matter of fact you had the animation colors mm -hmm. and you had the toy colors and i got the animation colors because to me that mold looks so much better in the animation colors with the lighter greens and the more white, you know, the white highlights and stuff. But I know some I people that got the toy colors because they want their hound to have that dark and the, that dark metallic kind of green there. And it's amazing what just a, sh a shade or two of paint can make a difference of. Um, officially, look at Reveal the Shield Jazz. Which it would... Oh. Which, which, which which, yeah. yeah. Ours was... Again, that is a prime example of when Hasbro doesn't add paint and you've got just, you know, all that unpainted back half of the figure and then you get the chorus, which has the paint and the accents. It's like, it's a night and day figure. And it's the same mold. Yeah, I think every version of that mold besides Reveal the Shield Jazz looks better. Mm -hmm. All the Baka ones, Stepper. Yeah. I've got the G2 version that came in that uh, Walmart set, and that yep. even even though that doesn't doesn't have as much paint in some areas, as, but it has more Tampa graph, mm -hmm. it looks better. Looks better. Trying to uh, screen share the gun dog right now. Hold on, getting it. 
I think I got yeah, it. I got the, the yeah. cartoon gun. I've, uh, yeah, the picture I'm I'm got up shared right now is the uh, uh, hold on. Make sure I think I'm, for people yeah. who were more toy collectors than cartoon watchers back then, I'm glad there's an option yeah. for them. Yeah. Well, I for me it's more like what it's not, I, I don't know whether it's basically I look at the character and think I want him to look like this is what Hound's supposed to look like. You know, and some I've got some things that are more toy based. I've got some things that are more cartoon based. It's just it's like well I've got make toy, I've got Hellfire and uh, Wrestle because those big chunky thick limb bots are more of what I think of as Inferno and Grapple. See, that's I've got the Hellfire. That's my Grapple or my Inferno right now. Now I did get Artfire because Artfire does not really have a specific way he's supposed to look other than what he appeared in the manga and stuff like that so the inferno mold being th slim and more streamlined doesn't make a difference for me on art fire because he's just is this one-off character that i've got sitting behind uh sitting beside of uh bounce back which is the, uh, the yeah the repaint of uh downbeat stepper for, for stepper yeah, I have uh, Kojin, the the crowdfunded version How is of, he? for Artfire. He's good. I didn't realize I would like that mold as much as I did. It almost made me want to get the Inferno one, but I think I want the one that you were just talking about for Inferno. Yeah. And well, the official one for Grapple. I yeah. think that's how I'm going to do it. The the Ocular Max, the uh, the their Inferno, I think, had some issues that was fixed with Kojin. Mm -hmm. So there, there's that as well, but Coach, uh, the their Inferno was also too thin, too. He wasn't chunky enough to be Inferno. Yep. And I, I, I had Masterpiece Inferno for a weekend. I, I bought it because I got a good deal from a friend, and I sold it on to another friend very quickly because I hated the vast, expanses, swaths of undetailed plastic. That's I why I, that. that's why I didn't buy Metroplex and I bought Utopia. Because mm. Utopia, he and he cost me he, I got a good deal on him thanks to some dynamics. But if I compare Utopia I to Metroplex, but if I compare Utopia to Metroplex, Metroplex doesn't even come close. And not because it's a different it doesn't look like it's not a G1 Metroplex. But you have all this swath of just unpainted white torso, that panel lining or something. I shouldn't have to take a Gundam marker and put some panel lining on a figure, which would not work out well for me because I, I don't do small detail work that well. And it's like, I'm not spending that money for Metroplex when Utopia, yes, it is a more expensive figure. But it's a much better yeah. looking Metroplex. Spending the right money. Well, <laughs> well, okay. But as expensive as he is, yeah. Yeah, I pulled up uh, now the the gun dog uh, gallery I showed is uh, the one taken by the Maz uh, at uh, TF Square One, uh, and I'm also showing the Utopia right now that he did. Yeah, uh, that thing is just beautiful. I had a guy at TF Con USA a couple years ago. Uh, he was going to trade me for what was i going to trade him there was something I I, there was something big i was going to tra uh, trade for a uh, trade it for but i can't remember what it was right off the top of my head uh and it was i was going to get a utopia but uh i didn't pull the trigger because i felt like i i could get something more and i'm kind of glad i didn't because what it did wind up with was road caesar um, and I'm, so I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm sorry. It's it's Road Caesar. If I I love it though. I know you hate it, Don, but I love I no, love no, it. No, no, I don't. I don't hate Road Caesar. It's just many years ago, before, right when the internet was still kicking off, I had made a purchase from. Uh, we all know Tony Frito. We've all yeah. known Tony for. Yeah, he's he's a good guy. Yeah. So Tony's a great guy. Uh, I bought from him. I've told the story before. I bought God Bomber. From him through uh, Lee's Action Figure News and Toy Review. His his ad was in there, and I called them and I bought God Bomber. 
based on the catalog picture. I didn't know what was in the catalog wasn't what God Bomber finally wound up with. So I called him after I received it, and I asked him. I said, that was a, Rito, pro- probably a proto pick or something other. Yeah, it's exactly what it was. And then he explained to me what was in the catalog is not what they actually produced. And so I, that's how my friendship with Tony began. And he went to Japan a year or two later and asked me, was I looking for anything? And I said, I would love to have a Rose Caesar because, again, I was trading Legends Bumblebees from Kmart for VHSs of Master Force and Victory at the time from a guy in Japan. And when I got Road Caesar, I was like, yes. Then I put them together. Uh. <laughs> so it, it's not that he's bad. It's just a, it's, it was a disappointing figure based on what I had. Well, for, to have a three-figure combiner in Generation 1, I think he still <laughs> pulls it off really well. Uh, he, you know, he's he's not... You know, especially, excuse me, by modern standards, he's he's pretty lame. But you can't you cannot compare gener. Oh, excuse me, had Mexican for dinner. <laughs> had Generation One, not not a Mexican. Way Christian was looking. Way Christian was looking at. Me. <laughs> Ew. I like Mexican food. Um, but anyway, so why? <laughs> well, it, it it has a reverb effect on me. <laughs> At least I didn't fart. <laughs> hey, no. Oh, I have farted live on 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 air before. Okay. John, do you like Road Caesar? Yes, I like Road Caesar. Okay, good. That's that's good. But now I did pick up the I did pick up the Trinity Trinity Force. I haven't had a chance to sit down with the last two oh. yet, but I need to. I need I, to I've got me. the first one, but he mildly disappointed me. Uh, so I, I'm I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get the other two simply because I do like Road Caesar, and once he's combined, he probably will stay combined. Yeah. But I was super disappointed because even though he has the ability to have either a solid head or you can actually have him have the brain master mm-hmm. gimmick that works but his brain master is literally smaller than my th- fingernail yeah if, it's like if, super it. tiny yeah. if you have masterpiece star saber and you have uh what was the name Simba. of uh what was what was the name of uh, star saber's brain master oh, saber was uh, just the jets i don't think it had a name Okay, I, okay, but uh, if you have that figure, brain fart. <laughs> what he what he's talking about is actually smaller than the uh, smaller than the Star it, Saber. I'm, brain th- I, you know, it's tiny. not much bigger than World's Smallest Ravage, if if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a tiny figure. Yeah, it's or tiny. Or maybe like a maybe if you have any brave figures like from Firebird. Yes, like, yes, the, it's roughly that size. Uh, maybe that's smaller. The size of the, the Firebird. Maybe smaller. I mean, it it literally. I don't. I'm not even sure if it folds in half right off the top of my head. It might. Yeah. Uh, but but any, he's he's it, super small. But if anyone needed a, needed a third party upgrade, it would be Road Caesar. Uh, I would like. I love JRX. He's he. There's not many three bot combiners in the in the in the in the mythos, but I I think JRX is a really nice figure. There's. I think there's six. There's Road Caesar, there's Tripredicus, Hellraiser, Tripredicus, Magna okay, Boss, was... Triple Docus, and Magna Boss 2. Okay, yeah. I wasn't I wasn't thinking Beast Wars, I was thinking just G, just regular Amer- I was thinking American G1 and Ro- G1 Road Caesar. I wasn't even thinking Beast Wars, but you're right. But Tripredicus Tri- gave me such a fit, I just sort of blanked that out because it's just fit, 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 fit. Ah! That's wow. what she said, um, but <laughs> imagine if imagine if Supreme Cheetor had been a combiner like that. It did. It combined me. It combined my wallet into empty and me with sadness. So it, it, and many oh, people God. combine it with a garbage can. <laughs> but I, I'll tell you, you know, <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Supreme's Clash Cheetor combines with a trash can to form landfill. <laughs> 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 Landfill's a much better combiner. <laughs> That's well, yeah, I guess. 
But I will tell you a third party figure that really I look back, I'm so glad I got it. I haven't played with it in a while. Carrie. You know, really. that was another He's one that got, got sold out from underneath of me. I wanted, I, I had one on order, and whenever I went to pick it up, they were like, uh, don't have it anymore. I'm like, you don't? What? And it's like, well, somebody needed it, and I didn't, I thought I'd get some more in before you'd, you'd want it, and I'm like, I'm a slap a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a reshoot yeah. coming. I've always thought about getting one. Yeah, are they? Are the they going to re- re-release well, it? I- yeah, it's coming oh, yeah. out later this year. Yeah, he he Spartan, which is another one that, uh, as well. Ooh, but yeah, Spartan. The, uh, Spartan is a third party version of Impactor. Spartan's uh, great. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought you knew who that was. Uh, oh, no, that's Carrie. Ooh. Yeah, Carrie is one of the it's one of the defining figures in my collection because it show again. There's a scale issue if scale is that important to you. He's he he's not big enough in one way and too small in the other. He doesn't fit against this. He doesn't. I understand all that. Well, that's the but, problem with DX nine figures is that their scale is a little bit off. Uh, you know, it's one of the things I, I love. Chigger, their their Astro Train. You know, it's not perfect, but as far as I just got him last week. Yeah, as far so. as robot mode, his his robot mode is r- about right the way an Astro Train should be, uh, and his shuttle mode, it's fat, but it's nice. Yeah. Uh, and then the train no, mode is great. Blast off an Astro train, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, his scale is just a little bit off from what you would expect it to be. And and I know again, scale is relative in Transformers. But um, you know, I have my perception of how big a certain figure should be, and to me. Chigurh falls in that, and if Carrie's a little bit small, I might, I'm might be glad that I held off on that. Now there is an Asia reissue of the official masterpiece, original masterpiece Rodimus convoy. Uh, I may pick that up, despite knowing that it has mold issues. Just simply they're to they're going to be fixed. Knock on we'll wood. See. Yeah. <laughs> I think Carrie is a it is one of the DX nines. It's it's one of their figures when you point and say, "This is DX nine, unique toys, or however you want to take a look at it," because you know that everyone says it, or else. it is one of their most outstanding solid pieces, and it's a Rodimus Prime that does not parts. Let's see if parts I can. Has no, parts forming has never really bothered me, because I'm it's. I mean, it. If you we can't break the laws of physics. We you know we are bound by the rules of physics. To a certain degree, so you if you have to, have some, but they were able to make a, a Rodimus Prime that was an all-in-one figure. It looks good. His Target Master sucks. The Target Master that forms his Photon Eliminator to give him like you know the Target ma- the Target Master ability that is one of the worst. That is probably up until Contact Shot. We didn't, in my opinion, did not have a decent Target Master for most all of the figures it's andreas is a great looking Andr- scourge. andros yeah andros yeah. his is a great looking scourge his target master is terrible okay i'm it's absolutely i'm absolutely. sharing a gallery here right now Trojan's of... target master is pretty good well i think i think i think that at that point they were they were starting to see that they were that they were going to have to reuse these target masters on down the line and they were trying to make better ones so they'd have a better base mold to draft on. Yeah. Um, now, the pictures I'm sharing uh, are from CollectionDX.com. Uh, and if you want to pull up right. CollectionDX.com, uh, you can see their pictures of Carrie. Yeah. He looks They've great. Got very, they got some very talented artists, uh, photographers and such over there on the DX, Collection DX. Hey, Don, is it true that Carrie has rubber tires? You know, I, I actually don't remember. I can go over and try to find him and check and see. Hang on, let me go check. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm I looking at a pre-order. It says he does. But I like the all-in-one design. Uh, and, I do, too. But, you know, here's a picture of Carrie next to MP12, which is the uh, uh, Lambor uh, Sideswipe. And he's not much bigger 
I mean, Sideswipe actually like actually looks huge next to him. Uh, and then, okay, now we have MP09, which I think was the, yeah, MP09, uh, the Masterpiece Convoy, Rodimus Convoy. It dwarfs Carrie in vehicle mode. So, yeah. Yeah, I think Rodimus Convoy is a bit off of scale for now. So yeah, it's I'm the original. Really sure why they're reissuing it. It's the original Masterpiece scale. So, yeah, it's it's a bit big. But, I mean, if you consider, that if you don't transform him into hot rod mode uh, and you just leave him as Rodimus Prime, it would fit, honestly, I in my opinion. I almost think Carrie is more of a classics kind of yeah. figure, really. Yeah, he, he looks like he'd fit more in Chug, in my opinion. There he is. Yeah. I mean, he's yep. beautiful. But, yeah. I, I mean, uh, I know he's Christian and... June. We can get him. Yeah, Christian and I were actually talking here, Don... Uh, looking at the pictures and the comparison, uh, you know he looks great, but I, I think he's more chug, yeah. personally than uh, anything else. And I know people tires, hate that term, but as far as the tires go, I, they feel like they're that they're not. Pla- there's like rubberized plastic. Oh, uh, he has Gerwalk mold. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like but, soft plastic, maybe. Yeah, Bendy. well, it's, it's very it's it, it's hard. But it's not like rubber, rubber, like on kind of like the conflict. is. Uh, well, you don't have the figure, but I was starting to say kind of like the horns on, uh, on the uh, movie studio series Grimlock. They're Actually, they're they're rubberized, but they're not like super soft rubber. I bought him the other day. I I I wasn't going to, and then I I saw a gallery of the pictures of the way he looks. He's just, he's, he's just gorgeous. nice. He's nice. He's nice. But yeah, that's uh, Carrie is a very important one. Uh, probably one of the most important figures to me in third party is City Commander. I was going to say the same thing. It, it's it, it's City Commander. That armor set made me made me realize that this third party thing could be something awesome because yep. what it does to that plain white classics Magnus just completely changes the character yeah you do lose some posability uh the protector armor was an upgrade for hot rod because you actually gained some points of articulation whereas you did lose you did lose them for the magnus but visually i think you know just again uh the city commander is one of the one of my favorite pieces it's like well you well don someone asked me they said don since you've got ultra magnus mastery's magnus now you gonna sell your city commander? I said hell no. Mm-mm. City commander. I'll never get rid of mine. Yeah, city commander might be old, but it still look. Hang on, I've got him right over here. Let me get him so people can see uh, what he looks like. You know, I, I had the city commander back in the day, um, and it it was it was a landmark figure, uh, or not not figure, but add on kit. It really. <laughs> It it made me uh, it made me think, hey, this can yeah. redefine the way collecting is done. Little did we know at the time that you know full on figures were uh, were yeah. to well, be coming it, out. It wasn't it wasn't too long after this, as as far as the crow flies, that we got Defender, mm-hmm. which was the which I believe was the first Warbot Defender full figure, which was a Springer. And I had that too, and it it was it was a beautiful beautiful toy, but you know compared to some of the offerings we have now, like Apache and in my opinion, Open and Play uh, Big Spring, uh, yeah. you know those those things knock it out of the park. Well, it might be more nostalgia on my part, but this this is sort of what happens when people say, "Oh, look at that 2007 Optimus from the movie. It's such a terrible figure." And the Revenge of the Fallen is just such a better figure. And I have to stop, and I've told people, especially at BotCon, yes, you're right. 2007 Optimus compared to Revenge of the Fallen Optimus is not as good of a figure. But we wouldn't have Revenge of the Fallen Optimus if not for what they tried to do on the 2007 figure. Mm-hmm. And, the, and, the 2000, and the 2007 figure has its own charm. It's a learning experience. But Night Watch... 2007 Optimus is one of the most beautiful toys 
Hasbro has ever created. Hell it is yeah. one of the most beautiful toys, and I will fight anyone that says otherwise because they haven't actually seen the toy in out of the package in when white hits those those those, those teals and blacks. But the, it's the same thing. You have to get these stages. So yeah, what we're getting now in, in a lot of the third party is some really great stuff. But you can't dismiss what came before. Because without without City Commander, we wouldn't have all these perfect effect kits. Well, and then the TFC Gen Hercules uh, came along and redefined what we the, how we would perceive oh, third God. party combiners. You know, that was, was that was if I'm not mistaken, the first big third party combiner. Mm -hmm. Yep. I can't tell you how many times I was looking at pictures between Hercules and Green Giant. And I was pulling up the individual bots, and I was comparing them. And I would pull up the combined mode, and I would try to compare them. I wound up getting both. But, but I mean, initially, it's like, if I'm going to sink this kind of money into it, I want the best version. I went with Hercules originally just because it was a very classic-looking Devastator. <laughs> Sorry. It is like. And, <laughs> uh, yeah. and uh, but, I mean, that looks like that would be – a new what a new devastator would look like mm -hmm. and i liked green giant at the initially but it, it was like more like g1 with articulation kind of mm -hmm. versus hercules was like what they would look like done up as classics so you had two different aesthetics yeah you going. and for the longest time you know i i would say i said and i and i believe i even said it on old episodes of this show i was never going to sell my hercules because to me, he was the the definitive Hercules, and then we got Combiner Wars Devastator, and yep. despite his his shortcomings, you know he's he's Hollow City, he's still you can't get any hardly any closer to animation than Combiner Wars Devastator. It is the G one Devastator that we all wanted, at least in in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, could it be better? Yes. And I did get the perfect effect upgrade sets sets yeah. for it. It could also be it could also be orange and yellow, but we haven't got that yet either. Yeah. But we got the other G two sets. <laughs> well not Defensor. Uh, not Defensor. Not not Guard City. Well, although he's saying it wasn't G two but well, Guard City also, uh, if you pick up the Inferno that's coming out here in Power of the Primes, and then... Comp uh, like stealth Guard City. Yeah, you, you pretty much, you, you can combine them, you know, maybe use the uh, uh, Alpha Bravo as the first aid, and, you know, just color-wise. And you might have to swap a few parts, but you could, you could put together a passable Guard City out of, uh, once the Inferno's released. But that means buying another Alpha Bravo. We already have seven, eight, twelve, six hundred and twenty-four. It's it's all, it all blends after a while. Well, you know, Combiner Wars was was really done to death. I mean, let's let's face it they they stretched about five molds to the max, and I you know I would still buy them today because I would buy every single one. Mm -hmm. I love that. I, I, I was thinking about it last week. That's my favorite line ever. I think. Well, I, I don't know about ever, but it was it's it's up there. And I remember having the discussion. I believe even on this show with Rick. You know, Rick's like, you know, I, I I'm tired of this line because it's just the same molds over and over and over again. He's like, I can't believe it's selling. He said, whenever whenever he was at Hasbro, they would never have went for something like that. And I'm like. But this is what I've wanted since I've got back into collecting back in 1999, and I was wanting Generation One characters. I, uh, you know, updated Generation One characters. You know, throughout all of Armada, Energon, Cybertron, uh, and then all the Universe line. You know, all the little little G1 homages that we had. Ooh, it, he looks so G1, but he wasn't quite close. And then we got the classics, and then it's like, oh, these are so G1, but not quite close. You know, what I mean, Hot Rod was probably the closest out of all of them um and boy did we get that mold a lot yeah uh but the thing is is uh, then we get uh combiner wars and we start getting full-on combiners and the the teams actually look like they're supposed to and you know and and they even stretch it and make us 
like here's Mirage, here's Trailbreaker, you know, out of those same molds. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm surprised that they didn't take the aerial bots uh, and and make the Seekers out of them. Really, uh, wh- we might still see them. Who I knows? Wouldn't, I wouldn't count count them out just yet. Now, I mean, I know, I know, in Grand Convoy, or I'm not Grand Convoy, but Grand Galvatron and the uh, Unite Warriors set, we got a Ghost Starscream. Mm-hmm. Uh, He's pretty cool. Yeah, and then uh, and then I've got the uh, Shattered Glass Starscream over here uh, from the Combiner Wars mold. Um, but yeah, the, they stretched that line to the max. And the thing is, is the it yeah they ran the molds into the ground, but it worked. They they worked, and well, they're Combiner still using them with like Darkwing and Dreadwind. You know, it's like, I love it. Yeah, and and the new the new uh, Power of the Primes combiners use the same system. I mm-hmm. love that. I want that system forever. Yeah. Well, but what it, Combiner Wars did for me, I had been collecting third body combiners. So by that point, I had Hercules and Intimidator and Uranus, and I had just started on Prometheus. And I picked up a couple limbs for Combiner Wars Superion, and I knew from that moment that I was not going to go back because that that was like I was talking about earlier, my toy versus chore collecting. How long does it take to transform Yornos into combiner mode? I had Blackbird. I had Blackbird, and I, I liked it in both modes, and but I sold it. I'm like, I, I don't want another Diesel top deal here. Yep. But how long does it take to make Combiner War Superior? All three modes. Maybe ten minutes then, tops. Tops. Yep. And then apply that to Intimidator versus Minasaur. It's not even the same, and I want that toy look. And I did get the upgrades; they look better now, and it still doesn't take me a long time to switch them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm I've... looking for something that's easy, but I, I I do collect toys, and I think it's important to keep that joy in transformation. Well, you know, I, I got the Unite Warriors Bruticus, and and I got the I got the perfect effect upgrade set. Looks flipping gorgeous. You know, this mm-hmm. whole set looks flipping gorgeous. You know, you got the right, you got a blast off. It's in the right colors. You know, Vortex has got the four blades instead of two, uh, and he's the right colors. Everybody's the right colors. Um, you know, and I even told Orson at Capture Prey, I said this is going to be my definitive Bruticus. And then along comes Zeta Toys. You know, it's like, hey, you know, here is gigantic. Combiners or, or Combaticons at like a reasonable price. I mean, they're like 55, Zeta 60 the, bucks. The super big ones? Yeah. You know, I mean, Zeta's, okay. uh, Z- well, there's Zeta toys and then there's Unique toys that's got their Ragnaros. Uh, and that one's actually close to, if not already completed. But the Zeta toys, you've got Blast Off, uh, Vortex, and Brawl that's out now. What's the one that's already out that's really big in Bruticus? Warbatron? Well, yeah, that one. Warbatron, but, I mean, it's eh. uh, it, it had some issues. It, didn't, it, it started off strong, but it didn't end up well. Fierce Attack, the Onslaught, uh, it wasn't quite Diesel, but it was. It definitely was the weakest. Had a lot of QC issues, too, from what I understand. Nice. Um, well, never mind, then. Yeah, one thing I wanted to ask y'all, just sort of as a tangent here, we've talked about third parties. Okay. What about fourth party or KOs? But, like knockoffs well, of third parties? Well, c- kind of. But it's That's like essentially example, what fourth party would be, I would think. Well, like for example, I have the Y Zhang, the upscaled version of MP10 in the clear. I've got the leader class evasion mode that they did the upscale of from the Voyager to the leader. Uh, I've got the Yzhang Megatron that they, that's that's their original design that they came out with. I've got the unique to, uh, the uh, Infinite Transformations masterpiece version of Megatron that was infinitely cheaper that came with the Frank Welker voice chip cannon. Do you all, do you all see these companies like again? I'm using Yzhang as an example or Yes Model with them stepping up and doing better quality toys, and in some cases better than the masterpieces they're emulating, that these are going to be another factor in making the choice between now Now you've got, Has, now you've got Hasbro, Takara, and third party, and now you're going to have to look at, okay, I like what, I like what Hasbro's doing here, but let's say it's a Prime and it's a Voyager. I want him to be bigger. 
it's possible why Zhang might do an upscale of that. They just released or getting to release their Omega Supreme, which is a completely original mold for them. I it's, think it looks it, like ass. <laughs> well, I like it, but it's, it's way too skinny. I'm, it, it's skinny, but I still like what they're trying to do with it. I'm hoping they'll do that as Omega Spring, so we can get an Omega Spring ca- character just for grins and giggles. But do you all think that this is going to be another option coming into play if these companies stop doing plain old KOs and make actually making like Weijang improvements to the original figure as far as adding metal, adding parts for better conversion, you know, things like that. I am undecided. I do have the Yes model cone heads. I, same here. And I do have the uh, leader-sized Voyager Last Night Megatron. Rinsora. Okay. And I'm looking at yes. getting the, yes. the big old Nitro Zeus, too. Yeah. So I, I, think, I think it's something more to consider. But with the, what they're doing, it's almost as if they're third party anyway. It's not so much a knockoff as it is. I mean, they're making new molds. They're blown well, up. Well, what would they do if, if say, if they, let's say they knock off those Zeta toy Combaticons? Those things are huge already. I mean, literally, uh, for those people who don't, who have not held one, the Zeta toys blast off is is as tall as Masterpiece MP11 Starscream in in robot mode, and wow. bigger is taller than Masterpiece Starscream in arm mode. So imagine how big this freaking Bruticus is going to be. It's it's huge. It's going to be up there with like Fans Toys, um, Terminus Giganticus, and that's a combiner. Uh, and you know, and each limb is like fifty five to sixty bucks, depending on where you get him. And then the onslaught's going to be about a hundred to wow. hundred and twenty. They don't give a shit, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, but well, and the quality's pretty damn good. I don't have any well, issues with mine. Yeah. There is that thing where Zeta is supposedly from another company. Toy World. And they, yeah, and that so they could be using this to establish themselves again. Well, their we we their uh, aerial bots are the same uh, are the same price too, and uh, the J, uh, each aerial bot is the size of an MP seeker. Sergio has those, and he showed me yeah. the first two aerial bots. I've, he I've really got liked them. them. Yeah, I've, I've right now my uh, my air raid is surfing on uh, uh, FT Stomp's back right now in Dino mode. Aww, cute. And then uh, and then I've got Fireflight. He's uh, he's giving Swoop a thumbs up. You know, so because <laughs> they have articulated fingers too, and that's it's, it's insane. That's, you know, I didn't realize they were that cheap. I may have to. Yeah. Jump on board. For I mean, they're on. they're not. I don't think they're the most accurate uh, cartoon accurate ones. They're close. Uh, okay. the, now the the Zeta Combaticons go more toward the Studio Ox, I think, uh, interpretation. Uh, but season three, yeah, they um, they are very G one esque. I mean, the heads are like dead on. Uh, now the aerial bots go more more toward the toy heads. As, as opposed to the cartoon heads, but they they look they look amazing. Um, the only out of the four that I've got, I've got Air Raid and Fireflight, and then Blast Off and Vortex. Excuse me, uh, you know, ironically, all four flyers, all four flyers. But um, interesting. Uh, out of the four, the only issue I have is with my Air Raid. The front landing gear, the spring is so hard. It's like I just took it off, I, you know. I just I just took the the wheel off and set it in my little box of parts, and because you know whenever he's going to be in jet mode, I'm going to be looking at him in jet, and then I'll transform him back to robot mode or arm mode or leg mode, whatever, because he's not going to stay in jet mode. Yeah. But that's the only issue I've had out of the whole thing, and yeah, you know, is that ravage? She likes to go by Ravage when she's on screen. <laughs> she's not attacking so, you like Massey. Yeah. Oh, Massey. No, Massey, our mascot? No, nah, she's very nice. This is Roxy. Massey's now turn around and show us your ass. <laughs> well, you know, she's cat. That's what yeah. do. It's like, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I just wanted to bring that up because that's, to me... That's going to be another option is like, 
you know, because I actually was waiting for that YJ. I wanted that YJ Megatron to come out mm-hmm. as to go with that clear MP10 because it, they're both upscales. And I, I showed off an earlier show the difference between the Masterpiece scale Megatron with the Infinite Transformations version and the YJ, which is about, again, two or three inches taller on the upscale. But I just wanted to ask that because I think the these again fourth party KOs whatever they are, they're seeing that they can up their quality I think, and make a better toy. It's like Chris, you said you've got the you've got the BB Seven Yes model cone heads. Yep, they are rock solid. I they're mean, incredible, I and they're so much cheaper than trying to get the official ones. Oh yeah, it's like I got I, I think I think the, I think I paid the most of like ninety two dollars and change for thrust. And yep. that was sixty dollars cheaper, and Melvar on RFC has the official Takara ones. His thrust, when he shakes the thrust, the hips move like a hula hoop dance, like a hula dancer. I mean, just they are all over the board, and that's a that's a common. I still yet to pick up my MP thrust in Dirge. Uh, you know, they're they're on my very short list of soon to get after my computer's paid off, uh, but. I have a general short rule of if there's a master if there's an official masterpiece version of it, unless I don't care for the first uh, official version. In the example of Inferno, I've got I've got the grapple in that mold, and I've got Art Fire sitting in my pile, so I, it's not like I won't have an Inferno version of that mold. Uh, but I've got the Hellfire, so I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, I would rather have the official versions. Uh, I'm not going to go for the S model simply because I want to stick with official as much as possible. Uh, and that's my personal preference. You know, if, if I can stick with, if I can stick with uh, official, I will. But if there's like either no official interpretation or there's no chance of one, then I will, I'll get the third party like i don't see them doing third party or official dino bots outside of grimlock who knows maybe someday they might but we're already slowing down on masterpiece releases uh, or at least news of of them so the likelihood is small um you, you know the, the headmasters you know i'm i'm getting i've got the uh, the fans toys weird wolf i'm getting the skull cruncher and mind wipe uh, when they're 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 out uh, I've got the KFC uh, King Gorilla and King Zilla, the Eight Face and Snapdragon. Absolutely love those. Uh, so I don't see Hasbro doing those, especially you know sixth tier characters like Eight Face and Snapdragon. Let's be honest. You know Weird Wolf, who in the American cartoon showed up one time, even though he's a central character in the Japanese Headmaster series. He showed up one time, and he, uh, he didn't even have a speaking role except for Monzo. He, was, he had more time in his commercial than he did in the actual rebirth. Yeah, and and that's sad for my favorite my favorite character. But I, I I can rest happily because, in my opinion, there is a masterpiece version of him now in the fans' toys Lupus. I, you know, it's not again, it's not a perfect toy, and I dare anybody to point out a perfectly perfect transformer official or unofficial there is none you know there's always going to be some little something that i wish they had done that uh, better uh that didn't turn out quite right there's always something on a toy it's either too big too small this part doesn't look right the face is off uh, something there's going to be something it's prime first edition optimus prime perfect Mm. nah the only thing is that (laughs) The, I just with the money the seekers are being asked to pay out, being paid for, yep, and that kind of QC uh, that, that we are getting, I, I can't, I can't argue I that like logic, the logic the though, stuff. Yeah, I can't argue that logic. If you can get a better quality product for a cheaper price than official, more power to you. Uh, that yeah, that, that makes more sense. That makes thing sense. That pushed me to the yes model seekers. I've been buying them, and you know, I. I I didn't want to pay two hundred fifty to three hundred dollars for a product, where stateside I could get it for sixty bucks. I just bought uh, Acid Storm. I bought Sunstorm. They were sixty bucks at TRU. You know, if you bought um, I, I'm not MP11, get... you could get it for like one twenty. 
Yeah. I didn't want to pay twice as much. I'm, I'm not paying. Oh, I'm not paying over two hundred for my thrust and dirge. I've, I'm getting them for. I think thrust is like one forty and dirge is like one sixty. Uh, so more reasonable. But yeah, I have a discount through Capture Prey. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so great toys, great prices, great service, captureprey.com. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh well, you know, uh, you know, and the, I've got the Hasbro Starscream of MP11. So I've got, I have less than a hundred dollars in him. I've got the original Hasbro, the Walmart Skywarp that was out years ago with the long hip skirt. That one too. Uh, I'm fine with it. And that one I'm never going to replace, even though I would like to have an MP11 SW Skywarp. I think the colors on it is gorgeous, especially oh, the yeah. way the, uh, they, uh, they applied the silver paint. <laughs> but I, I'm, I can't get rid of my Skywarp because it was Chad's, uh, you know, and, uh, so that's my Skywarp in my collection. I need a Thundercracker. I did have MP11T, but uh, some of you who may remember, my uh, mine had the nose cone Tampo. Was like the outline was like next to the Decepticon insignia. It was like horrible. And even though I rarely pretty though, yeah, it, the colors on it was pretty. But even though I rarely put it in jet mode, I was bothered by the fact that I knew that Tampo was there. And I didn't want to have to take it off and put a sticker where a Tampo was already there. So I went ahead and sold it. But I think I'm going to go with the Make Toys uh, uh, Lightning, I think is what it's called. Which is, they just yeah, announced I'm, it. I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to dip into that mold real quick. Because I've actually, and, and this has come up before. I've actually seen online and seen, saw where people were saying they're actually selling because when they got Howling Meteor that their Starscream, people actually started selling their masterpiece Starscreams and replacing it with now his, Howling Meteor. To be honest, I think his, uh, MP uh, MP11 uh, the price on it has dropped considerably since Meteor oh, yeah. came out. Uh, yeah, so you know, I mean, they were going well over 200, sometimes 300, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for just Starscream, uh, especially with coronation, coronation set. Yeah. And I hope that's something if I don't, you know, I don't know if Takara monitors how, how closely Takara monitors this stuff or not, but. Oh, you know, they, if, they watch it closely. <laughs> yeah. But if I was working with Takara on the Transformers and I see where a third-party product is replacing my official product in the eyes of fans because it's a better quality toy for less money. They may go back to the drawing board. That might be that might explain why they're so quiet. Another right. reboot of Masterpiece. Or at least the secret mold. But again, you know, that, that's exactly what I'm saying is that, you know, there if they see that people are replacing their Takara branded products with third party and third party has always had a stigmatism of being a lot more expensive. In the Not early anymore. Years, <laughs> it was true. Now, can you see getting downbeat for, say, Iron Heights price in an official masterpiece? I can't because if Sunstreaker had any licensing fees built into his cost of about Which I think he did. To 115 to 130. You can get that, it capture that, prey, that, I think, that, for like one, one ten. I think might might be one fifteen. Yeah. The cheapest I've seen one for is like one oh seven and change, but that was from China with about twenty shipping. But I'm just saying, if Jazz is built, if we get a Jazz, can you see getting a Jazz that looks as good as Downbeat for Downbeat's price upon release and be a better figure? Oh, that I was the last part for me. And be a yeah. better figure? Probably not. The, to, to the it's rest one of them, ten at capture probably. break. Probably. But to, to be a better figure than Downbeat? Mm, yeah. It just, that's a tough sell. That's why I didn't get Sunstreakers. I have Sun Surge, and again, I know it's not perfect. I, I had Sun Surge, and this is another example of, you know, back to my rule that I mentioned before. I had Sun Surge. I loved it. Loved it. Had no issues with it whatsoever, although... Sadly, I, I, I think Jason Rye actually bought my Sun Surge off of me. I broke it. 
<laughs> as I was transforming. He, uh, you know, he still bought it. I gave him a, a partial refund, you know, because, you know, what it, what it was was one of the hinges on the back of the windshield uh, broke off. It would stay on. It would stay on in both modes. So it's not like it affected the toy, its, it's look overall. You just, It just kind of, you just had to kind of uh, be careful with it. Um, and then he broke it when he got it. <laughs> Uh, I hate laughing about that, and I'm and I'm not. It's it's it, it, it's an unfortunate thing. I've done it before myself, um, but the uh, the official masterpiece Sunstreaker, the MP uh, MP39, um, I was so impressed by it. You know, I I went ahead and got it simply simply because I love Sunstreaker. I, I'm a sucker for yellow Transformers. Uh, I went ahead and got it because I love Sunstreaker. And it so is good. so well done. And I compared it to my 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 Bad Cube Sun Surge. And I sat there and I had them... Uh, what I did is I sat right here in this very chair and I set them both on my computer desk. And I just sat there and looked at them both side by side. And I'm like, I like this better on him and I like that better on him. But overall, aesthetically... And the flow of transformation and everything, it was overwhelmingly Sun, uh, Sunstreaker, the official, for me. And when it got to that point, I looked at Sun Surge and I'm like, I don't really need it. I, you know, I didn't want to sell it, especially because knowing that, you know, I gave like $100 for it whenever it first came out. And now that the master uh, official Masterpiece Sunstreaker is out, his... Let's be honest, his price, along with all the other MP Sunstreakers, especially Spin Out, tanked. Oh, yeah, Spin you Out know. was... And that, that was another figure I was back and forth on because the early pictures for Spin Out looked good. He looked like he would be an interesting version of Sunstreaker, and it's just the QC just... He just tanked. Mm. But, I mean... I, I, I just had I had to I had to go with the official one again, and again you know I I go with my preference and in my opinion I go with the better toy, and I uh, and if I go with preference, generally I lean official, but I'm not opposed to third party, you know I, I I'm, I'm finding that more and more people too in our fandom, who used to be vehemently opposed to third party. Uh, combine that uh, the, the, that with the fact that official product, the quality has been really shoddy as of late. Not just in masterpiece, uh, you know, not so, maybe not so much masterpiece. I mean, there it's not without problems, but the official line. We even talked about this here a while back on the uh, Power of the Primes Wave Two episode. Some of the quality is horrible in some of the retail toys. Uh, you know, people's getting tired of that. You know, they're wanting good quality toys. And the word's getting out. And pe some people's minds are changing on third party. And that's why you're seeing a resurgence of, you know, like, like Fans Toys Willis. I've seen a lot of people going uh, coming back and they're like, I've hopped on the third party train. Uh, I want Hound. I want Willis. You know, they've seen pictures of Willis and they're like, where do I? Where can I get a Willis that's not two hundred dollars? Where can I get a Gun Dog that's not two hundred dollars? And and they're drying up quick because there's late bloomers, uh, and I've, I'm seeing it with the fan stories Dinobots now too, because there's people that are after some uh, you know Stomp, Stomp's hard to get, uh, even Scoria because he was the first one. A lot of them, a lot of people are settling for the uh, Perfect uh, Fusion Cesium, which I think is just as good. I haven't actually held one, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. Uh, the body's not so much a potato, <laughs> but uh, you know, a lot of Even people. Jetfires really shot up recently. Yeah, yeah, that Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people. A lot of people are jumping, jumping on the third party train because they're starting to realize a qual the quality is is generally good on a lot of these toys, and two, they're starting to realize, hey. I want this character. I want that character. Hasbro is either not going to do it anytime soon, or not going to do it at all. They 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 they're seeing the writing on the wall, and I th I'm kind of hoping 
one of two things, Hasbro, or not just Hasbro, but Takara, one of the reasons why they may be slowing down on the ma- official masterpieces is that they may be uh, looking at, you know, keeping things more under wraps so as that they're not uh, knocked off so quickly because, let's be honest, knockoffs of the official product is coming out at an af- alarming rate. Look alarming. At Barricade. Look, look at Barricade or Optimus. Uh, I mean, Optimus. No, sometimes it's not much fo- uh, much long after the official one's released. Sometimes even before. Yeah. I think I think the KO of Barricade came out first. <laughs> it's it's crazy. It's crazy how how the uh, the knockoffs are, and it's and it's entirely possible that they're holding withholding information about future releases simply uh, to help control that. Yeah, in a way, I'm if that's what's happening, I'm glad that's what's happening. But I would also like them to say that they're working on something. You don't have to tell me what it is. Just say that there are more releases. We have. Well, Releases forty one through I'm fifty. I'm pretty planned. sure that there was an interview with a Takara designer a there couple was. years ago that they mentioned that they are working on Trailbreaker and Hoist. Yep, mm-hmm. and they've got Huffer done too. Yeah. So where and are I'm they? I'm sure a lot of them, like Cliff Jumper and Jazz, you have to wait on licensing from Porsche. Um, Gears, you got Gears and Trailbreaker. I think have to be Toyota mm-hmm. if you want them to be done right. So I think there's licensing there, and that, that's causing some problems. But at this point, it's it's been a couple of years since MP12. Let's um, let's hurry it up a bit more. Yeah. Well, hey, Duran, I wanted to ask a question, but how are we on time? Uh, we're at an hour and sixteen according to the record time right now. So, uh, if you want to, if you need to wrap, we can. Okay. No, I mean we don't. Uh, I don't need to. I mean, I, I just didn't know. I just wanted to ask a question. Sure. As far as with third party, uh, we know we know what. We talk about you know the official the official masterpiece and stuff. What is it that is either coming up you know coming up that's been announced, or do you want to see <laughs> <laughs> ass in face, yep. cat ass yeah. in face? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, she got me. Cat destroyed that's camera. That's, that. that's what can that's what cats do. Yeah. Oof. So. Anyway, um, y'all two go first. Uh, what are y'all looking forward to the most? What do you want to see? As far as third party, third party, yeah. either official, a third party, or even um, fourth party. I mean, like, what figure had what? What third party figures come out that you think maybe they need to take a crack at making better? If there's anything like that, as far as announced toys, it's uh, that's coming. Or, yeah, or or just something something you want to see sometimes rather sooner than later. Chris, you want to bite on this one first? I don't have an answer for the fourth party one yet, but the I have no third answer party thing I'm fourth. looking forward to the most right now is the transform or transform Dreamwave upgrade kit for Volcanicus and Computron. You know, I, 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 unusual I, answer, but the Volcanicus looks. Incredible! That is what I want my Dinobot. I to want be. the feet and hands, but the rest of the stuff I don't need. I, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, Braun, <laughs> Braun Strowman. Um, yeah, fourth party. I'll, I'll think on that one. You come back to me. I think short term. Um, uh, and and I'm probably going to steal Dawn Thunder on this one. Fans Toys Rogue, uh, the RC. Yeah, actually, I don't like the silver version. Uh, I'll let you look, look on the face there. No, nah, it's just, I, I, I think that's the special version they're doing first with the metallic silver instead of the white. Mm-hmm. And the silver makes her a little too, I don't know, just, it's not right. And I, I'm hoping they'll do a version with a more regular white color than the silver. I'm a bite but, on it. Uh, I'm, I've already got mine pre-ordered. Yeah, I'm. I, I want it so bad. Um, and then probably long term, and I'm. I'm really looking long term with this thing because it's fan toys also, and that's their uh, mind wipe. You know, it's probably sooner rather than later now. Uh, even though sh- uh, they first showed, I think, the, like the line art, like two years ago, uh, but we've finally seen some like CGI and colored CGI, which means they are working on it now. Um, and now, and we've also seen their Skull Cruncher coming up too. But I think Mindwipe is very 
much closer. I'm I'm really excited for that because I'm a headmaster guy. Um, yeah. And the but, cool thing is, maybe we might get an alligator con optimus from that skull cruncher mold for people who couldn't get positum. Yeah. Well, positum and and the fans project uh, headmasters are more. Uh, and I know people hate the term, but more chug in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, they're they're small I mean, compared to masterpiece. Uh, so. But uh, you know, I'll be honest. Like you know, stuff like code. Code had some remarkable engineering on that figure. You know, Code was a it was an outstanding figure, but it hasn't aged well as far as that goes. But, yeah, I mean, they look great. Uh, me, personally, what I'm looking forward to short-term, and I didn't think I would until I started seeing some more pictures, the Generation Toy uh, T, uh, well, T-Beasts. Uh, oh, the, those guys, yeah. Yeah, because T-Beasts. I love yeah, it, it's the one with the Optimus, the more mechanical monkey. Optimus oh, Prime. oh, yeah. I'm, yeah uh, those don't flip my trigger at all. As the Beast Wars guys. Yeah, or yeah, or as like you know, the, you know, people keep saying, you know, this is a terrible primal. It's not. It's like, no, this is my. I, they're actually, if the Ark woke up, like later than Hearts of Steel, but before eighty, before the Industrial Revolution. Although, like as I said, granted. There's not that many gorillas running around Mount. So it's Hill. along the lines of that uh, bull uh, bull side swipe that we've seen. The yeah, bull yeah. Side swipe, okay. You know okay. the, uh, the the sun streaker that I believe is what a, a cheetah or something along those. Uh, it's one of the big cats, I think. And one of them uh, is a horse. They, is that jazz? That may be jazz. I think I'm it's jazz. Sure. Yeah, something. Yeah, but that right there is sort of hitting because it's sort of like it's no more different than say the the episode. That introduces the insecticons. Their their computers scanned insects and not me- other mechanical things and made mechanical insecticons. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm looking at. These is basically it's your G1 characters with these beast modes because that's what was available for the art to scan. And there is some controversy around around the artwork, the whole artwork thing there. I won't touch on that. That can be found out elsewhere. But that really surprised me with what, uh, with how good those figures looked and looked like. Sideswipe as the bull just looks really. He still looks like Sideswipe mm-hmm. in robot mode, but his alt mode is completely different. Yeah. And and I'm uh, long term, I'm looking forward to people like Wajane and uh, you know other companies and Black Mamba making their own figures. And again, it's still the whole IP thing. But they're not they're not KOing and they're not bootlegging. They're actually making their own figures. So we might see uh, a new version of JRX with, with maybe some modern engineering that I would like to see a, another take on JRX. Uh, we Raiden. might. Raiden, of course. I still I still can't believe no one has tackled how it's, how. Like it's, it's, I mean, I keep I had a running theory that since Hasbro acquired Power Rangers, you know that they can make Raiden in one line and they can make the Tokyuger sword in the other, you know, just if they wanted to get crazy. But, you know, that's what I want to see is, you know, more of this original stuff that, like, you know, we would not get from even regular third party or it would take a lot longer. Raiden, see, we've got one group of Seacons. There's plenty of people that don't like that one Poseidon set from TFC because TFC is real hit or miss. On yeah, some stuff. it looks good except for the combiner head is like super tiny. <laughs> well, it's for me. It's not the thing that really kept me from getting them, other than I had other stuff I wanted. But it was the mismatched colors because you had those two that weren't the same coral kind of undersea pattern. Mm-hmm. It's the bright pinks and blues, and it's like just it doesn't work. You know, it, oh, sea wing it, and uh, yeah, cause, overkill or overbite yeah. rather. I think because yeah. if the uh, if the other character other character had some of those no, uh, not a later, not a later. Yeah, if if they had those pinks and those other colors in there as highlights, try to pull the color palette together, it would work a lot better for me. But it's just visually, I I, I think TFC had a valiant good. effort, but I think it could be done better, and. I'm I'm holding out. I, I really, 
lament the fact that I missed out on uh, on the uh, Unique Toys Orden, the uh, the Abominus. I wanted that so bad because I'm a huge Abominus fan. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the time that it was out was around the time that I was uh, in a transition, uh, life transition period, you know, and I didn't have the funds available. And I saw people's pictures, and I'm like, I want it so bad. I just, I was just never able to get it. And he came and gone, or came and went so fast. I'm like, I, I missed the boat on him, and I, I really lament that because I like the way he looks. All the figures in that set look really, really good, and in combined mode, he looks really, really good. It's weird. I just wanted blot. I could, I didn't care about. Again, I wanted center twin and hunger. <laughs> Yeah, so. You know, Abominus is not one of my big must have the best version of like Predaking, but I love that blot. That blot was just genius as far as mass shifting and design. I mean, I yeah. loved it. Well, and, and you know, to carry that over to the Power of the Primes Terracons, um, combined mode, it looks good, but it could look better. And I'm I'm thinking a third party set uh, upgrade set will be made that will make it better. I'm I'm. You know, I'm with uh, with uh, Christian. I uh, I think it's an inevitable thing, but uh, individually, the the Terracons are so flipping dead on to the way they looked in G1 uh, in the cartoon. So good. As, I mean, the Ripper Snapper. I, I think I said it here on the show here a few weeks ago, whenever I first got it. The Ripper Snapper has blown me away. I love Ripper Snapper. Uh, and I think next to Cutthroat, he was my least favorite Terracon. And he's, I love this thing. And I'm like, oh, if the rest of the guys are going to be this good, I can't wait. And I know that the Hunger, essentially, in his uh, in his dragon mode, is basically the robot mode doing a, a Bray Wyatt back handstand. Uh, you know, but... But so is G1. Yeah, I mean, it... it it still pulls it off really well. And, you know, I was showing it uh, before we started recording. I went on to Facebook, and there's a, uh, a guy on there named Repro Man. A lot of you uh, may be familiar with him. He's based in the U.K. Is doing Power of the Primes um, versions of some weapons, and he did Hunger. Uh, so this weapon will go to Power of the Primes Hunger. It's a smaller version, I think, than the G1. Um and the quality is like, it's not, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's not like the 3D print that you get like off of Shapeways. It's good and smooth. It's molded plastic. And then I think he painted it too. So it's, wow. it's really, really well done. It was 20 oh, bucks for this gun. Yeah. Uh, find him. He's on Facebook called Repro Man. Uh, I think his, uh, uh, the logo uh, is like a, a dude with a mohawk or something. Uh, and you just message him on Facebook and and say hey i'd like to have this these if you're if they're available i think it's like 20 bucks shipped from the uk uh so you know for a for a custom gun that is g1 accurate and 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 while we're on the subject i'm going to do a plug for non-f as well uh you can go to uh yeah uh at non-f prod on uh, twitter or sales at non-f dot com it's n-o-n-n-e-f uh, and he's got like all kinds of great stuff. You know, there's a website. Uh, you can go to non-F, uh, non-F's website. I think it's nonfprod.com uh, or something like that. Just do a Google search for him. He'll come up. Uh, and he's got like uh, battle trap guns. Uh, you can get the, the clones, the, the, uh, the new clones that are out. You can get both sets of weapons for both Autobot and Decepticon clones. And they are like almost dead on to the G1 weapons. And it makes those those guns feel complete. I even did the, uh, he's got upgrade rifles for the uh, for the Legends Insecticons. And so they don't look naked anymore. Broadside kit. Broadside kit is where it's at. I, I, I haven't seen his broadside kit, but I'm. It's a, it's a gun and axe plus some fillers to make the fan mode work better. Mm-hmm. It changes the figure drastically an incredible upgrade and his set. his his prices are amazing and uh, amazing. i mean i know he he lives i think in south carolina so i literally ordered stuff on friday and got it on tuesday uh so i mean he's he's generally fast about shipping 
Uh, so yeah, I, I highly recommend uh, non F two. Um, so you know, I just wanted to give those uh, guys plugs because they do really great work and they deserve it. You know, if if you're looking for for some upgrades to certain toys and or, or certain toys like the like to me the clones felt naked without their guns and some of the uh, th- some of the power of the primes toys you know I've, I'm, I've been enraged that they're coming with literally no guns uh you know so hunger is actually going to have his gun uh you know uh, i gave there was a weapon in the uh in the insecticon set that was intended for chop shop but i don't have chop shop so i just gave it to ripper snapper because it's a gray gun small it looks like his looks like his little pistol or rifle so I gave him to Power of the Primes Ripper Snapper. So he's got a gun. It's great, you know. You can multi-purpose these things. I uh, think you sold your chop shop to me. Did I? I think so. Uh, it's possible. <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I really think it's important, you know. And it's it's on on topic since technically they're third party, I guess. Uh, you know, upgrade kits. Yeah, upgrade kits. So, uh, giving a shout out to those guys. They do phenomenal work, and they deserve some business. Uh, check them out. That's uh, Repro Man on Facebook uh, for certain weapons. He's uh, and the Repro Man also occasionally does vintage toys too. I got my Death Saurus, uh, the Eagle Breastmaster guns that are like impossible to find. He does. He does straight up repros. Of those, and now I have a complete death source because of those. So, I was just looking at his page, and he did uh, powered convoy buggies. Yes, that's incredible. Yeah, you know, I mean, and he he puts some love and effort into these, and he's a, he's a fan just like you and I. Um, and same thing with Non F. Uh, you know, he's a fan and collector. You know, give him some business. Um, what uh, is there any any other things that you guys wanted to talk about real quick? I came up with my fourth party answer. Okay. I would like to see whoever's making the KOs of NPM Bumblebee make me an NPM Cliff Jumper and Stealth Bee. But especially Cliff Jumper. That's I have no fourth party answer because I'm you know, I'm Yeah. Yeah. I'm 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 like that's going a little bit too deep for me. <laughs> I mean it's I not, not that I'm opposed to Hasbro making me one. I just want one. Give it to me, however I can get it. Now, I, I was I was tempted on the Yzhang over to oversized uh, movie prime. Uh, that thing looked amazing. You know the 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 cab the eva- over the evasion, the evasion mode, um, but I didn't want the battle damage one, and that's the only one that I, I found that was available. Uh, I think Capture Prey got those in. It looks great. It looks looks really really great. Oh yeah, but. In the end, I passed on it because, you know, movie toys are not my forte. And I'm starting to get sleepy myself, sorry. (laughs) Um, Do you guys have any uh, closing thoughts? No, that's that's good, I think. Well, I I think we... Oh, go ahead, Christian. I do have one. Uh, Since we had a lot of uh, topics in common with him, I'd like to acknowledge the Bobby Skullface video that came out recently that talked about landmark third-party toys. Mm -hmm. We covered a lot of the same ground, so I feel like we should throw a shout-out to him. Good video, good I, guy. I, I recently watched his uh, uh, his video of, uh, I think it was TFC or was it Toy World? Uh, Detective, which is, the, I think it's TFC's version TFC. of Hound. Yeah. <laughs> I have not laughed so hard. Uh, that was hilarious, hilarious. I mean, just... Oh. The, the whenever well I'll I'll let you watch it go yeah, and watch yeah. Bobby Skull's faces review of TFC yeah. Detective. Uh, he, also, he also has one up today that this is something you'll probably know to on on how to light your detox. Hmm. Yep, I'm watching that tonight. Woo. Yeah. The, it also tells uh, you when we recorded this. Yeah. Secret episode. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's it may be several weeks before this is actually released. Um, you know, I, I know my girlfriend's son is actually moving out of college here in a couple weeks or in a few weeks, um, because the semester is almost over. So I may not be available on, on, that might be on a Monday though. I take that back, but I know there's several, uh, 
uh, Saturdays that I won't be available to broadcast, and this this episode will likely go up. I know my birthday, I think, is is going to be falling on one week next month. Hint, hint. Anybody wants to send me anything, any toys? <laughs> I'm gonna send you me. I'm gonna show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, great. Yes. Yeah, it's like it's like just contact Orson and say, hey, I want to pay for a toy that Duran has not paid for yet. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> No, no hints here. I, I'm not being shy about it. <laughs> wow, shameless. A good idea. I yeah. might steal it. Hey, it, it might work. It might. Maybe. We'll see. But hey, guys. Uh, you know, that's, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, you know, it's just a little roundtable uh, of some relevant topics, and and you know, who who knows? It might get people started down that third party train. Uh, you know, and there's nothing wrong with it. You know, don't let, you know, uh, hail Hasbro. You know, I know that's, that's a big thing, you know, out there. A lot of, there's, there's a lot of people hail Hasbro down the third party. It's like, I'm sorry, you know, we're, we're the consumers. If Hasbro or Takara is not going to cater to us the way we, we want to be catered to. And there's options out there and they're quality options. Now there are some, there is some shit out there. We won't, we won't deny that. Um, but there are some good quality options out there and let's, let's face it, you know, Hasbro is actually putting out some, some shit too. You know, this is power of the primes Optimus. Look at that cab. That is horrible. I mean, horrible. I mean, the back of Orion Pax's well, head is a freaking. Yeah, but we get a Sunbow Orion Pax out of that. Which is something I never... The only redeeming seen. thing out of the cab. The only redeeming thing out of the cab. That's the only reason I'm keeping that toy for now is the Orion packs, and then the combined mode is pretty damn nifty too. Yeah. Uh, but the truck mode blows ass. I hate it. Uh, you know, so even I think, I think, even official product can suck. I think we'll see a third party for that before too long. Like, if nothing else... It'll be a cab cover just for that back half. I'd be happy. So with it'll that. it'll make him a long bed, uh, like a sleeper cab, but at least it would cover up, and that would be like a shield or it could. It be would something look. Else. It would look like it wound up looking like Combiner Wars Prime. You know, it had that extended, you know, yeah. cab. You know, but you know that's there have been worse primes like Robot Masters Prime, but that's a special case. Yeah, and wasn't that released in? Uh, uh, in the U.S. in like the classics, in the, like the black box classics, yeah, was that the Robot and, Masters and, Prime? In a pack no? of Megatron too. What what, what mold was that? It was that other classics deluxe mold. Because oh, it, the it, it spinning torso game. Yeah, spinning yeah, torso yeah, that's right, right, that's right. Because yeah. I remember it was derpy as hell. Uh, but yeah. um, at least the Overkill was a decent repaint of the classics Grimlock, and then that drag strip out of Mirage was. Flipping beautiful too. Oh, yeah. I like those. I like those. But I think that'll wrap us up for this episode. Uh, uh, Don, Christian, I, I want to really extend my thanks to uh, you know being on the fly here. This is really unpumped too. I, I literally messaged you at like ten minutes till ten on a Sunday night and said, "Hey, I want to test things out. You up for a pre-record?" And you guys were were up for it, and yeah. I can't thank you enough. Phenomenal. Well, but, wait well hey, we, I think we had fun. Didn't we have fun? Yeah, I think we I always have fun. We always have fun. Yeah, it's, it's always nice talking third party because, you know, because there's always the, as many as different opinions as there are on Hasbro to car, there's even more on third party on, you know, what we like, what we don't like. So it worked out well. Yeah. I mean, I, whenever I messaged Don, you know, he said, uh, he says, sure, I'll do it. Just let me put a shirt on. He didn't say anything about pants. So. I leave that to your imagination. <laughs> oh, and please, now God, you no. Know the rest of the story. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time on TFYLP. Take care, everybody. Bye, everyone.